Well, this is Mrs. Grow. Uh, discussions on section 10.4, and we're using square roots to solve quadratic equations. So now we're going to move on to, uh, I think it's the last page. And I want to go through the steps. Now you're going to notice that what we're going to do here is slightly different. Okay, We have a binomial square. And so before we just had an x squared term we were isolating. So step one is to isolate this binomial square. Then step two is we're going to take the square root of both sides. And it's important to remember when you take the square root of a perfect square, the result is two solutions. You have a positive and a negative. We're then going to have step three. We have to solve for x. Step four. To do that, we have to split it into two problems. And here we must check both solutions with our calculator in the original equation. So those are the steps. And now I'm going to go and walk you through one problem. And then I think you can do the these two problems on your own. Okay, so we said that, so here's our original problem. So the first thing we want to do is we want to isolate our binomial square term. So to do that, we divide both sides by 5. And now we have 5 divided by 5 is 1. And I think I can make this a little bit bigger. And so now we have x plus 1 squared equals 6. The second step I said is that we have to take the square root of both sides. So here we have x plus 1. We took the square root of this and we are left with x plus 1. Here we take the square root and now we have plus or minus the square root of 6. Now we have this, but we have to now solve for x. To solve for x, we're going to subtract 1 from each side. And you know, I'm going to take and rewrite this problem down here. x plus 1 equals plus or minus the square root of 6. We need x by itself. All right. So we need to subtract 1 from both sides. So we're going to get x equals negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 6. Okay. That is an exact 
solution. So now if I want to find out the value, I'm going to have to split this into two pieces. And I'm going to get x equals negative 1 plus the square root of 6. And x equals negative 1 minus the square root of 6. So we're going to use our calculator. We have negative 1 plus the square root of 6. So negative 1 plus the square root of 6. So here x is approximately equal to 1.45. Now we're going to take this and we're going to take negative 1 minus the square root of 6. And here we have x is approximately equal to negative 3.45. So going back to um, the notes that you took at the very beginning, the first step is we have to isolate the binomial square. The second step was we take square roots of each side. The third step We need to solve for x. The fifth step was we split it. So we have our solutions. Okay. So our solutions are the exact solution for the first one is negative 1 plus the square root of 6, which is approximately 1.45. And our other solution was negative 1 minus the square root of 6. And that is approximately negative 3.45. Okay. So that was our fifth step here. And our sixth step is we check, okay, in the original equations, we use our calculator. So I want to, I can find it easiest when we're doing this, is I'm going to check here. I'm going to check here, make sure that we have the right answers. So now we're going to go back to our original equation. And we're going to have five parentheses. And we have 1.45 plus 1, close parentheses, squared. And here we're going to get 30.01 is approximately equal to 30. It's very close. Now we're going to check the other solution in the original equation up here. So 5 parentheses, negative 3.45 plus 1, close parentheses, squared. And here we get 30.01 is approximately equal to 30. So I'm going to work with you through
through the, these two problems, because this is a really new concept for most students. And so I'm going to work through those. But if you want to try to do them on your own, then go for it. So the first thing we do is we've got to isolate our binomial square. So we divide both sides by 3. So we are left with m minus 4 squared equals 4. And then we take the square root of both sides. We do that. We took the square root of a perfect square. We get m minus 4 is equal to plus and minus 2. So now we got to solve for m. We add 4. We add 4. And so we're going to get m is equal to 4 plus and minus 2. And so we're going to get m is equal to 4 plus 2. So m is 6, okay, and m is equal to 4 minus 2, so m is equal to 2. So if I use my calculator and I check this, all right, I'm going to have 3, Parentheses, 6 minus 4, close parentheses, squared. And so notice that my left-hand side, I got 12 equals 12. Cha-ching, it checked. And because you have this nice calculator here, you can go back up and make it very easy to double check your other answer. I'm going to replace the 6, which is my variable m, with 2. And you know that 2 minus 4 is negative 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12. And we get 12 equals 12 for the other check. Right, these numbers worked very nicely. So we didn't have to worry about any rounding there. So now this one, I bet you it's not going to be nearly as nice. So we're going to get a minus 3 squared is equal to 8. We're going to take the square root of both sides. So we're going to get a minus 3 is equal to plus and minus the square root of 8. Do not round. You always round at the end. So right here, we're not going to round that. So we're going to add 3 to both sides. And we're going to get a is equal to 3 plus or minus the square root of 8. And then we have two answers. We have a is equal to 3 plus the square root of 8. And a equals a equals three minus the square root of eight. So a is going to be approximately, and I'll let you use your calculator to get those approximate answers. Okay. 
So 3 plus the square root of 8, you should have gotten 5.83. And a over here, 3 minus the square root of 8, you should get 0 0.17. Now you want to check both of these answers. Okay, 5.83 and 0 0.17. The checks should come out to be the same in both cases. Okay, you should get this to be 32.04, which is approximately equal to 32. So this answer 5.83 is correct and then if you plug in this here you should get 32.04 is approximately equal to 32 and it checks. Right, so now you know how to solve binomial squares by taking the square roots. And I think there's uh, some practice problems that are attached to this for you to do. And as always, if you have any questions, come ask me. Have a great day.